Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great small travel trailer value from Parkway RV Center. Guys, I don't know about y'all, but lately used travel trailers have becoming like looking for buried treasure. And I happen to have a few here, but just a very few of them. And the little ones are even that much harder to find in the current market. Today, we're going to review one that's going to sell really quickly. This is a 2016 Forest River Wildwood X Lite FS 195 BHS. That's a mouthful. Uh, guys, this little camper is a single axle. It's 21 feet 5 inches, including the tongue at its absolute longest bumper to bumper length. Weighs 3,003 pounds. Got bunk beds, got a stationary bed in the front, sleep six. Ideal for a small family with a small crossover uh, or a small SUV. Let's look around this little camper, guys. Got a crank out awning. Uh, everything in just like you'd expect a 16 model camper to be. Very clean for what it is. I've got it hooked up to 30 amp power right now. And very affordable too, guys. I mean, I've been doing these little micro campers and, and they're selling for 14, 15 grand. So this right here weighs about the same, but got about twice the room in it. And just a basic little camper, no slide. Very easy to operate, very easy to use. Tires look great. 30 amp again, 30 amp electrical service, so. And what's nice about this one is it's got the window unit AC instead of the rooftop AC, which does a fantastic job keeping it cool but if you're into primitive camping, boondock camping, you can get one of those ultra quiet, 2000 watt inverter generators like I use in my videos a lot. And it will power the AC in it and keep quiet too. And go several hours on a gallon of gas. Let's look inside guys. And um, we look inside, it's just like it's supposed to be. You got a front full size bed. One thing that's been changed They've took the original factory stereo out, put a car stereo in, which is actually pretty smart. That's what I do when one goes bad. But they didn't hang the microphone in a good spot. So uh, put a little 3M double-sided tape, mount that underneath it or something, which we'll do that when we go through the checkout. But you got some nice speakers up here. They've replaced the uh, lights with LEDs. Now I probably would put some brighter ones in here, honestly, if it was mine, but it's still pretty bright in here. Of course, it's getting dark outside, too. And, you know, it's a basic little camper. Full bed in the front, two bunks in the back corner, and a table booth makes a bed, so it sleeps five to six. I uh, got the window unit on. It's nice and cold in here, guys. See, contrary to popular belief, you don't have a lot of square footage right here. You don't need one of those 13,500 BTU ducted roof airs for this small amount of space. You turn this window unit on, 10 minutes the whole camper is cooled off. <coughs> In fact, the air is making me cough right now. Of course, it's, you know, we actually had 80 degree high today, so it's a little warm in here for this time of year. But that air conditioner will cool it off very, very quickly and quietly. And if it ever goes bad, guys, you know, you can buy those, pick those up at Wally World or Best Buy, Lowe's, pretty much anywhere, Amazon, online couple hundred bucks and 30 minutes labor you've got it changed out if it ever goes bad so i do like i wish more small campers did that because that's that, that's probably if i had to guess probably a seven eight thousand btu if, if not a five that's all you need guys you don't need any more than that but guy you do have a furnace does have an electric refrigerator a small electric refrigerator with freezer Countertops look good. Table booth looks good. Cushions look good. Not laid up or scratched up. No pet or smoke odors. We'll go here toward the back. We got a double bunk. Perfect for the kids. Two burner stove. Like I said, basic, easy to use camper. I mean, something that you can unhook from your truck and you're camping 15 minutes later. 
very little setup put your stabilizers down level it side to side if you need to plug it in put the water and sewer up you're done crank your awning out if you want to got a rear bathroom and um, a little tub and shower perfect for kids no skylight I do like that do have a little uh, little vent up here which is very good thing to have in a bathroom so the steam can escape a little pantry right here guys I mean it's like I said everything you expect to see in a small camper easy to use you know I've sold hundreds of these wild woods over the years I mean they seem to make a really good camper it's a forest river which guys you know that's a that's a company that's not going anywhere no carpet I like that 3,000 pounds be honest with you guys this is the same weight as a mid as one of those high wall pop-ups and um, pretty affordable eleven thousand nine hundred dollars includes a warranty includes a full inspection by our certified RV techs that's completed after purchase even though I've got everything on right now and everything's pretty much working but you know I haven't checked the water system propane system furnaces none of that stuff on him so <coughs> they'll do that and so much more and um ooh, in fact I might cut that air off it's making me cough you know you get too much cold air I'll tell you that stuff right there that gets you I only had it on medium But anyway, guys, 11 9 plus tax, easy, simple, done, haggle free, includes a 90 day nationwide easy care warranty, includes a full four page inspection process, or at least everything that this unit has that's on that list. I know there's not four pages of things to check on that. Again, guys, a simple, easy to use travel trailer, great for a first time RVer that just wants a small camper, sleep a couple of people keep a small family a couple you know even if you're just a couple and you're going to be in it for a long period of time guys that bunks right there would make excellent storage excellent excellent storage even if you didn't need the beds you could pile to uh, those you know some tubs up on that storage tubs whatever you wanted to and um, have extra storage and i'll have it cluttered throughout the entire camper got a water heater a course furnace got everything you need nothing you don't guys eleven thousand nine hundred dollars haggle free firm i'm not discounting these trailers guys i'm sorry this camper you know I, I did a big online sale the other day and use travel trailers right now guys literally this camper will bring 12 5 13 grand at the dealer auction right now based on current market prices and then they're going to turn around pay buy fees transportation fees reconditioning fees and a profit so Guys, this little camper right now will bring what I'm asking for it at auction. Now, that's not a sales gimmick, folks. That's the darn truth. And I'll be happy to show you auction results. I'm talking about you won't believe. Right now, used travel trailers. Late model, two, three-year-old used travel trailers are bringing more at auction than what they cost brand new. Because you don't want to know why? It took me six months to get two new working plays. You can't get new ones right now. The field, there's fields full of brand new RVs, missing air conditioners, refrigerators, water heaters, stuff they can't get right now because of COVID-19. Because the companies that build the components to build these, to build these items, are closed. And when they do open up, they're so back ordered it's months before they get out. That's why the new RV lots are so bare in inventory right now because they're selling them but they can't replace them. Use that's why used travel trailers are so popular right now because that's the Right now, you can't hardly buy a new one. I mean, you look on RV Trader, look at brand new campers. They all say on order or not available. <laughs> and right now, it's taking six months to if you order one before you get it or longer. And it's not uh, subsiding any at all, guys. So, you know, this is what makes current inventory used campers. So that's why they're so expensive at auction right now. I'm paying a whole lot more for campers than I was this time last year. But I've got no choice. It's either that or have an empty lot. And I have very few used travel trailers left. I've got two new ones that just come in that'll be gone by the end of the week. 
two new working play toy haulers and I've got probably eight at best used travel trailers. That's it. And half of them's got an hour more than probably a th two or three of them's got deposits already. I mean, guys, these things, I can't keep them in stock and I can't buy them to replace them. So keep that in mind. You're going to see a very scarce market this year for used travel trailers and it's going to be on for a while. So if this is your price range, if this is the floor plan that'll work for you, I highly recommend calling, leaving a deposit on it before somebody else does. You know, people travel for deals like this from everywhere. So anyway, guys, this unit's 11.9 while it lasts with a warranty, with the inspection, get a full demonstration after it's been through service and cleanup after purchase. If you want to know the current lead time, which isn't long at all, give us a call. One of my salespeople will give you an estimate. Subscribe to my YouTube channels. I'll try to do some more of these little trailers as they become available, which, like I said, I, I, I can buy 10 Class A motorhomes or 15 Class A motorhomes for every single used travel trailer that I can buy. And um, that's just that's just the way it is, guys. I, I've got no control over it any more than you do. And um, basically what I was selling these things for last year, they're bringing more than that at auction. So um, even if it's not here, if it's somewhere else, if you see a travel trailer that's in your price range that'll work for you, I would suggest buying it because you wait if you want to wait a couple days to think about it somebody else can already want to buy it so um anyway 11 9 i'm not trying to scare you guys i'm just telling you the current state of the rv industry right now especially used ones because i follow that stuff religiously that's my business so anyway guys thank you again for watching if you have any questions call us email us our phone number is 706-965-7929 and, uh, of course, you can email sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Highly recommend calling. We're still selling a bunch of RVs right now, guys. And uh, my guys don't have a lot of time to sit behind a computer and, and email back and forth when you can just simply pick up a phone call. Five-minute phone, five- or ten-minute phone conversation, will, you'll learn enough as much information as an hour or two of emailing back and forth. And it frees my guys up to take care of the numerous other customers they're working, too. So, um so you can certainly email, you will get a response, but it might be a, a day or two. And during that time, somebody else could have took the initiative, called with a credit card, left a deposit. So anyway, I'm just telling you current, like I said, I'm just telling you current state of affairs in the RV industry. Um, way more buyers than there are units available. But I'm still going to try to do my best to get these things bought, get them online for you give you something to look at even if you're not a buyer right now at least you're getting educated about the different brands and prices and floor plans and all that stuff so uh go to my website parkwayrvcenter.com i'll put a link in the video description below there you'll see pictures you'll see factory sales brochures all the weights measurements and more um also i have a free uh interactive tow guide if you don't know what your vehicle can tow you can look it up uh, you can get to that from my website, or there'll be a link in the video description below to our free interactive tow guide. And you can actually, once you put in all your vehicle's information and get your tow capacity, you can push a button and show me RVs that I can tow, and it will show you every towable RV I have on my lot. And it also, it doesn't just go by the dry weight of 3,000 pounds. It's going to go by, it's going to have a formula for food, water, luggage, etc. So if you're, if you're, Let's just say your vehicle's rated for 3,100 pounds. Guess what? It's not going to say you can tow it because they know you're not going to tow it empty. You're going to have water in it. You're going to have propane. You're going to have luggage, food, personal items. It's going to be more than 3,000 pounds, and it knows that. So it's that's a really handy tool. It's free, absolutely free. And whether you buy one from us or not, at least you have the valuable information of knowing what your vehicle can tow. Because you ask 10 different RV dealers what you can tow, you're going to hear 10 different answers, and chances are not a single one of them be correct. You know, always verify, of course, with your vehicle's local vehicle dealer service department to make sure because that tow guide is deemed reliable but not guaranteed. 
Thank you for watching again, guys. If you've got any questions, call us, email us, uh, subscribe to my channel. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, comment, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Oh, forgot to mention, financing's available with approved credit down payment, so is nationwide delivery. But because of the price range of this unit, I do recommend you contact your local bank or credit union, get a shorter term loan at a lower rate than what the nationwide lenders can do because the payment's going to be so similar. Why pay more interest than you have to? I mean, you're not talking about thirty, forty thousand dollars You're talking less than twelve. You know, your bank or credit union may only go 48 or 60 months, but that's all you need for that amount of money. So anyway, guys, thank you again for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.